Brazil will occupy lane number one. Canada with its grouping of four. Yeah, and this team could be a dark horse here, Jason. You've got McIntosh and Smith, who finished second and fifth in the 200 freestyle. Watch them. Sanchez Savard, the other performers in the middle two slots in their relay. We'll look at Germany's foursome. Hungary next with Anya Keshli anchoring. No swimmer on this relay for Hungary made even swam the 200 freestyle. Here's China with Li Bingji in the leadoff spot. And, and this is another team that's a bit mysterious. You know what Li Bingji is going to bring to you, but only one swimmer swam the 200. And that's the second place finisher, or excuse me, second on that relay. She got 14. Tori Huss, Gabby Weitzel, Melanie Margalis, Paige Madden for Team USA. Yeah, two swimmers come in pre replace of Burkhoff and Wyant. That's Weitzel and Margalis. Great, great decision making here for the U.S. staff. Dave Salo and company again have had to shift things around with some performers out of commission here for one reason or another with the COVID situation. And there's a look at the Russian Swimming Federation group. They come in as the top qualifiers, a little over a second better than Team USA from the morning heats. Russia has the same four swimmers they swam in the prelims. They did have a couple swimmers in the 200 freestyle. Nikonova, who will go first, she was 10th. Egorova was 13th. She'll go third. Husk has had plenty of rest since that fly. I, I, I love the fact, as I said, that the coaching staff brings in two huge veterans. When you think about Weitzel and Margalis, and the leadership they provide for these youngsters in Husk and Madden, who will go th first and last. Madden won the bronze medal in the 200. Good spot for her to be in. Melanie Margalis, who's go who goes third, has her 30th birthday coming up at the end of the month. This is a key for China as well. I, I, I still think China's best swimmer is Li Bingji. She was out in 157 in her 400 freestyle. So she needs to be really good and get China off to a lead if China's going to have a chance. Double individual gold for her thus far at these worlds in the 800 and the 400 free as Rowdy touched on. Canada with Summer McIntosh in her start. She was silver medalist in the 400 free. She's swimming in lane number seven right now, trying to keep tabs on the U.S. and China in the top two spots. Canada running right there, too. Well, you knew that McIntosh was going to put a good one in. You know, the young 16-year-old was fifth in the 200, so that's another smart strategy for Canada. You put your second-best swimmer on the leadoff, a good finalist there, and then you put your best swimmer, Rebecca Smith, who won silver at the end. They're over there to the right, Jason, in lane number seven. And Husk is doing a good job here. Look at Tori Husko. How about Tori Husk and the swim she's putting in? But here comes Lee Bingji, really swimming a great back half up there in the white cap. Lee Bingji cruising here towards the finish ahead of world record pace for Team China. The U.S. and Canada right there, second and third with the Canadians with the edge. Leg number two for Team USA, courtesy of Abby Weitzel. Abby Weitzel's got to be a little careful here. You, she cannot do it all the first 50. She comes in with a lot of experience in the 200 freestyle. You say, why are you putting, like hell, why would you put a 50 and 100 guy on this relay? Well, Abby Weitzel, during her brilliant collegiate career at Cal, 
swam a 141 plus in yards. And if you know anything about yards and times, 141, it's really fast. So that's why you put Abby Whitesell on this relay. Kyla Sanchez is screaming towards the front here for Team Canada in lane seven, overtaking Cheng Yuji of China for the lead. Right now, Whitesell still has the U.S. in medal contention in third. Yeah, boy, Sanchez is swimming a great 200 right now. She just literally flew right by China. Weitzel doing a nice job, kind of staying right there. Give Margalis, give Madden a chance. But Sanchez really having a swim here. Look at that, and she's still ahead of the world record line. The U.S. is going to go in second, Jason, but get this split right here when she comes in this last 50. She's putting it on. Certainly is the case. Weitzel trying to overtake Chung here for second. But boy, the effort from Kyla Sanchez, remarkable right now for Canada. Again, pulled them from back in the pack to in front, losing sight of that world record line as she fades a little towards the finish. But still, she'll hand Canada the edge at the halfway point. Catherine Savard next for the Canadians. Melody Margalis here for Team USA. Wow, what a split for Sanchez. 152.9. She just broke 153. Great swim for her. Abby Weitzel was 154.2. So good job for Abby Weitzel there on her leg, keeping the United States in the thick of things. Canada leading. China now pushing past Team USA for second. Zhu Menghui with a nice swim thus far in this leg for the Chinese. And Margalis trying to keep the U.S. in medal contention right now in third. Yeah, they're starting to run away from her now. Margalis kind of positioned in that third spot. China and Canada are now having a race together. And, you know, I've got to favor Canada. Again, they've got a, a tremendous swimmer at the end for them. Rebecca Smith, don't forget, she won silver in the 200 free. Now they've built a huge body link, two body links now on China. And now U.S. has just got to hope to be able to hang on for third at this point. Yugorova of Russia is starting to pressure Mark Alice a little bit, although the American still ahead by a body length. Canada almost two seconds clear of China and the field here in the finishing stages of this leg for Catherine Savard. Well, the U.S. is hanging right there with China now. They, the Chinese swimmer has come back in a big hurry to Melanie Margalis. Margalis is having a great back half to put the U.S. in position to even win silver here. Excellent from Margalis to close strong and have the United States in second as Paige Madden, who had a personal best in winning bronze in the 200 free, takes over the anchor for the United States. And it's Rebecca Smith, the silver medalist from that 200 free, leading the way for Canada. 53-4 for Savard, did her job. And now you've got to start thinking world record. That world record, 732.85. They are right on it, and Mark Allis did a great job in coming home that back half of that race. She was 154.8. So all of those add up to perfection for the United States for the personnel they have. They did exactly what they needed to do. Huss, White, so Mark Allis all did their job. Daria Ustinova is the anchor for Russia trying to catch up to China, and Lu Yaxin is the anchor for the Chinese right now in third can Canada won the United States too boy Canada is just looking fantastic at this point they they built such a huge lead they've got a little clean water now Jason I don't think anybody's catching Canada no way anybody's catching them and again still hugging that world record line for Rebecca Smith trying to bring it home right now. The 21-year-old, silver in the 200 free herself, and trying to lead Canada to gold and maybe a world record here in the 4x200 free relay. 
As I said, 54 plus on Margalis. That, that swimmer to the right of Canada is being lapped. It's going to be close at the wall, but she'll just run out of time. Missed it by about a tenth. Still, Canada with the world title. The United States anchored here by Madden grab silver. China with the bronze. Oh, what a split for Paige Madden. 152.7 at the end for her. She ends up keeping the United States right there. 736. What a great swim for Team USA to get silver ahead of China. But Canada, they have had one heck of a world championships here. And kind of a muted response for the Canadians rally. They were so close to that world record. They miss it by 11 hundredths. Yeah, yeah, and that was an old record, Jason. That that record was seven years old, set by the Netherlands. They didn't even have a team here. But that seven-year-old record will remain. But the gold is really what matters. And Canada will keep it. So the United States, with its fourth medal of this final session, second in a relay here. But Canada, phenomenal performance and really fueled by that second leg from Kyla Sanchez to rocket the Canadians in front. And it's an advantage they never relinquished. <laughs> look at them as they look at the numbers. <laughs> Again, just short by about a tenth of that short course world record. But still, they'll have to commiserate with gold. Never a bad thing at a world championship in the United States. Silver, China with the bronze. Well, it's been another phenomenal day of swimming here at the Shore Course Worlds. More action to come from Abu Dhabi and the final day of competition. Join us tomorrow, 9 a.m. for day six of FINA Swim.